Glory hole risk takers of reddit. What is your story? Do you regret it? I was in a bar and went to the bathroom. There was a glory hole in the stall. I thought. I'm a risk taker. Hey why not? I stuck it in. I waited several minutes. Someone came in and left immediately. Few minutes later the manager came in and told me that it was just there for a joke. He escorted me out and all the bar patrons were hooting and hollering. Offering me mojitus. I was completely and utterly sure the title of this thread was. Risk takers of reddit. What is your story? Do you regret it? The further down the page I got. The more concerned I got that everyone on reddit is a glory hole fiend. Saw a glory hole once in my life at an adult bookstore and had no idea what to do. It was mid 2000s I was traveling across country with a couple frat bros and someone thought it would be funny to stop at an adult video store. We ended up in this hallway of video booths and we slowly split up. My buddy chuckled and said they played weird ass fetish stuff. He started walking toward a booth and I told him I was gonna head out. But realizing I would then be alone I decided to go into the booth next to him. PRN was playing pretty loud and a minute later my buddy stuck his semi hard dick through through the wall. I froze. I had no idea what a glory hole was or what it was for. I thought he was just showing it off. Lol. I bolted out of there. You sucking? I had the best damn donuts of my life. This is a story I heard from a friend a few years back. The finer details are fuzzy but ever since hearing it. I don't think I'll ever use one in Thailand. Apparently these guys are out in Thailand having good time. Doing whatever lads do whilst out drunk in Southeast Asia and eventually end up in some makeshift brothel. One of the guys decides to pay to use the glory hole because like why not right? Unfortunately. His curiosity didn't end there. When he was done getting his blow job. He decides to pull back the silk curtain on his way out of the booth to find a young. Thai boy crouched in front of the very hole he put his dick in. Edit. Just to clarify. My friend heard this from someone else, I know him sorta, and the actual the person involved was someone I don't really know personally. The day that I learned that real glory holes are mostly used by gay men for anonymous sx instead of horny and slttty women. As portrayed in PRN. Was probably the most disappointing day of my life. I admire everyone in here. Till that I can add glory hole to the list of things I previously thought were just shitty people made up and never actually do. Like furries. Shower beers. Cleveland steamers. You need to have a shower beer. Nah it was fun. Sketchy but still was probably the best BJ I have ever had. After reading the comments I can safely say I'll never put my dick in a glory hole. Thanks Reddit. Colon. A mouth is a mouth. Risky dick of the day. I once went with my boyfriend to a creepy adult bookstore off a highway and it didn't go the way we planned. We got our stall and started fooling around. We put a video on that was so loud but we couldn't fix it. He put a blindfold on me and handcuffed my hands behind me back and started to pound away at me. Then I told him to go next door so we could do it through the hole. However I forgot there was a hole on both sides of me. So he went next door and I felt a cock brush against me and immediately started sucking. Not realizing it was a total stranger. So a while ago my dad was doing something to the yard and there was a giant round hole with mud in it. I jumped in it. It was glorious. I remember seeing this video of a guy about to get that glory hole action and then it showed on the other side of the wall the chick who was supposed to be doing the deed and another guy besides her, a gay guy. Then it was the gay guy who was giving the glory hole action to the other guy at the other side of the wall while the chick was laughing her ass off. So basically a guy was getting that glory hole action by another guy thinking it was a chick. Any fellow redditor have this video. That shti was hilarious. That's basically the plot of half of these glory hole PRN videos. Went to home. I was 18 and finally old enough to go in the adult bookstore. And I was kinda excited to know that I could watch PRN in those booths and jack off. 
Keep in mind this was back around 2000. So I'm in one of the booths doing my thing and this hard penis comes out of nowhere right next to my face. I know the FCK out of there. I cannot imagine putting the most precious thing in my life through a hole without knowing exactly what is behind that hole. You put your dick in it. Not your phone. Came here expecting the usual it's how I met my spouse. Responses and was thankfully disappointed. I barely trust my zipper to not magically come up and zip up my dick. My penis would not go through some random hole in a wall or apparently a blanket which for whatever reason is weirder to me. Ripped my dick clean off. Now I'm married and pregnant with my fourth larvae. Thank you glory hole. You don't make smart choices when you are a young gay. Exploring your sexuality. And slightly drunk. This is the same SX club I met my husband at. So I could have easily blew him years before I had the balls to even talk to him. I have been tested many times since. I have a strain of RSTD that lives in my bladder makes UT show up every few months. I wonder if anyone has put poop into a glory hole. I really wish you didn't wonder that. Years ago when I was in the police, CSI, we had a report of a guy trapped in a shopping center toilet. He had popped his spam javelin through a glory hole in the men's toilets. Presumably thinking that the risk would make things more thrilling. Sitting in the stall on the other side was, presumably, an electrician who placed a cable tie around his erect meaty missile and left him there. Trapped. Another person went to the stall and found the trapped penis. Phoned the police and many. Many officers. Fire brigade and an ambulance attended. Much hilarity ensued. We always joked that they should have removed the stall wall and carried him to an ambulance just like that. The result was that he was not arrested. He had been punished enough. E. What happens at the glory hole stays at the glory hole. But damn it. Just tossing it out there that Craigslist is hella dangerous even in small towns even on M4M. Is it common for people to have pretend glory holes only to hurt a man's penis? This seems to be a frequent fear on this matter. Penis paranoia is biologically adaptive. It's just vulnerability. I know a gay guy at work who says he used to go to glory holes here in San Francisco but stopped because he once saw a guy giving blowjobs who turned out to be a dirty homeless guy. Protein is protein. When you're hungry it doesn't matter. Ulcerative colitis checking in. I sometimes have a tendency to shti when SX gets too rowdy. So my wife and I have made several agreements. One of those agreements involves me watching her give condom clad blowjobs to strangers. While I jerk off. Watching the joy she gets from it. She and I do have something of her SX life. But it's not everything she needs. I like hearing the stories she tells about what she does with my permission. An Anu F King sucking counts big in our SX life. I'm a DJ. And bring the thunder on many a party. She grants me permission to do what I want with them girls that approach my booth. She's a F king good wife. If only you could see her in action. Her SLTTY side shines like diamonds. That got oddly. This actually exists. Edit. Is it an American thing? Does this happen in Europe? I don't understand. You need to internet more. Think of the most ridiculous fetish you can come up with. Got one? It. 50% blowjobs. 50% wang mutilation concerns. I've seen them. But never have done anything. I mean. You put your thingy in there. You have no idea what's on the other side. I always picture some raging homophobe with a butcher knife on the other side. That thought always made me get the hell out of there right away. Really late to the party. This is a story from my dad an ex-copper in the UK. There was a public toilet that was commonly used a few decades ago as a glory hole meeting ground. There were many reports of penis just popping through and people then complaining to the police. One night the penis popped through to someone who was not very impressed. This person then stabbed a wire coat hanger through said penis. This also meant the owner of said penis was trapped. Tits to the toilet wall and unable to retrieve his cock from the hole. 
Imagine a dog with a really big stick in his mouth hitting the door frame and not able to get through. Edit. I don't know about you. But I always have a wire hang handy when I use a public toilet. If I ever put my dick through a glory hole I'd just have a mental image of someone just jamming a long needle through it and leave and I would go soft or chicken out. Edit. Because I got like a dozen messages. No. Not like our sounding. Inner if you try to pull it out you split your dick in half kinda way. It had the word heaven written over it. I dunno. You've gotta have faith. I wrote a poem about this a while back. There once was a man from street. Paul. Who loved public urinals and stalls. But things got rather gory. In a hole labeled glory. So now he is a man with no balls.